covered data validation in Microsoft Access. Um, and I just want to show you that uh, there's data validation in Excel as well. Um, so uh, let's try uh, in cell E1. We're going to do a little bit of data validation. If you remember in Access, uh, we used data validation when we wanted to restrict gender to the letters M or F. And uh, if we didn't have uh, either an M or an F, we would print some kind of message telling them that they have to put in an M or F. So um, you might want to do the same thing in Excel. Why? Because, uh, first of all, you might not trust yourself. Uh, you might not uh, remember to put uh, data within, within a specific range or uh, meeting certain criteria um, in a specific cell. Or you might be giving the spreadsheets to be filled in by other people who we don't necessarily trust to know absolutely what they're doing. So you would want to enforce uh, the integrity of the data. So. Uh, we're going to do this. And the way that we do it is we look under the data menu, and one of the options is validation dot dot dot. Um, and here, the initial uh, data validation settings are to allow any value in this cell, um, and also to ignore blanks, such that um, if they don't type any anything at all but leave it blank, it also won't complain. Um, but we could choose other criteria for the validation. So, for example, we could select that it has to be a whole number, and if we select a whole number, we might want to specify a range of those whole numbers. We could say that we want a decimal number. Um, we might want to specify a list of various options, such that, for example, M or F, or if we were having uh, a bunch of uh, values, uh, let's say, true or false, or things like that. Um, date, we would want to restrict it to a date or to a time, or to if you have text with specific length, or finally custom. Um, so let's say we choose just to start off with a whole number. So here, it will make it a whole number. You can't put uh, fractions, uh, decimal points. So it would have to be an integer, like the value 23 or 54. You couldn't have 54.2. Um, and then furthermore, uh, after specifying home number, you could check off or you could leave out whether we're going to ignore blanks. So, for example, now you could have 54 or you could just leave the entire cell blank. Um, but if you check this off, you couldn't leave it blank, it would have to be a home number. And the data could be between, and then you could specify a minimum and a maximum. So let's try this simple thing. A minimum here of uh, 45 and a maximum of 66. So if so, uh, a number, let's say 22, is less than the minimum, and the number 100 is greater than the maximum. So let's try just for a moment to uh, to check this data validation. So I click OK, and I'm going to type 3 first. And it's going to complain, the, data you uh, the value you entered is not valid. The user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. So we can say click on retry, and then we could type in something like 45. And it will allow it because that's within my range of acceptable values. Let's go back into the cell, um, E1, and go back to data uh, validation. And then um, I'll also show you that we could change the minimum. The, the minimum doesn't have to be a number, but it could actually be a formula. So, for example, I could say equals A1. You see, beforehand I put the value 34 in A1. I could change that value at any point. Um, here's a very simple formula, it just equals A1. So it's between A1 and 66. So I'm going to click OK. And then, um, we'll sh we'll now instead of be being from 45 to 66, it's from 34 to 66. So now if I try to put a, um, a 40, it will allow it. But now let's say I change this A1 from 34 to a 50. So then it still allows this 40 from before, but now let's say I try to type the 40 again in here, then it complains. So I could then cancel or I could retry and then put a correct value like 51 in here, and it's enforcing the um, thing that I want to enforce, namely this range. So this shows that you can use a formula for this as well. Let's go back to the data menu, validation, and we'll, oops, wrong cell, we'll go to this cell, data validation. Um, and so you could choose not only that it has to be between one range and another, you could also say that it's not between a certain range, or you could say that it's equal to a specific number, so you could only enter in one number here, or you could choose 
uh, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, all sorts of different uh, criteria. Um, that's it for whole number. You could also specify decimal, which uh, as a decimal number you could also specify, uh, that means it's, it's decimal but could include a decimal point and have things after the decimal point, and we could apply similar restrictions as above. Um, we also have uh, date, and then you could have, again, a date between some start date and end date, uh, time, and you can specify if it's text, that the text length should be between, let's say, um, between oops, 5 and 6. And then, if I try to put in the word H, the, just the letter H, it'll complain. And if I click on retry, I could say, for example, hello, because hello is five letters, and that's between five and six uh, letters long. Uh, again, data validation. Um, one last thing is list. Um, and well, we had M and F as the options beforehand, so we could specify that also. So here, we have a list, and we gray out what the data is between or whatever, and it has source colon, and here we're going to click on this little icon next to the source. Oops, we don't want to click on that icon, sorry. We want to choose a list, and as the source, we're going to put a list of the various values. So for example, Josh, comma, Waxman. And I'm going to say OK. And now, if you notice, there's a drop down arrow next to this cell E1. Um, so I can either try to type something in directly, and then it's going to complain because it's not either Josh or Waxman. Um, I could actually type the words Josh in here, and it will accept it as because it's from the list. But also, since it's a list, uh, and, and we have the data validation for the cell turned on, I could click on the drop-down list here, and it will show me the two options that I could put in here, either Josh or Waxman. It doesn't have to be two options. It could be a total of eight options, really. Um, and once again, you could apply this data validation to other cells as well by using this, uh, moving the mouse to the bottom corner of the cell and clicking and dragging. And see, we could apply um, data validation now to every single cell. And since we also allow blank, it could be blank until such time as we fill it in. So if you don't trust that the person is going to have the right value in the cell, if you leave it to them, um, you can specify what values they could place in there. Um, a little bit more about data validation. Uh, besides these settings here, uh, we could also, um, first of all, when you have this list, you can specify that you don't want the in-cell drop-down. But we could also specify the text of the error alerts when it says that you didn't put in something within the correct value. So we could say the value should be M or F, for example. Or the value should either be Josh or Waxman. And you, so you can specify the text of the error message. You can specify something for the title bar. Um, and the style of it. Is it a stop, a warning, or information? So I'm going to change this now to information. I'm going to put the title is um, allowed values. And the error message is we only allow Josh or Rex. And I'm going to click OK. And here I'm going to put in the wrong value here. And it's going to say we only allow Josh or Rex instead of the previous um, message that we had. Um, and finally, let's go again to data validation. Besides this error alert, we also have an input message, is that, which is when the cell is selected, we show this, uh, this input message. So we don't wait for them to make a mistake before we correct them, but we tell them immediately this is what we expect. So let's give an example. Please um, input um, name. And we'll say, please enter Josh or Waxman or select it from the drop-down. And I'm going to click OK. And then you see this little tooltip pops up whenever I go to that cell. So here I'm out of that cell. Here I'm in the cell, so it puts that little tooltip. So that's data validation and extension.